Hey everyone, what's going on? My name is Noob, and if you've watched my last video, then you will see that I'm having a lot of problems with 1.3.1 and my old Let's Play world. I've been stuck, jumping into voids, the game is freezing. A lot of people are experiencing these chunk errors. Um, I'm not sure if that's something in the coding is, is messing it up. Now, I had gone to the nether just to get some lava because I needed it for a project, and I got stuck. I'm stuck in the portal area because for whatever reason certain nether portals don't generate the world when when you come back so I'm in a giant hole in the earth in the void and no matter how long I wait there the world doesn't generate and then when it does generate because sometimes it does I go to save to you know quit the game and it doesn't save so I have to keep doing that process over and over and over so I thought the week or Minecraft uh, week 32 a would help the the snapshot update i thought it would help and it did it so what i'm going to be doing is trying to get all the achievements in minecraft that's what i'm going to be doing that's going to be my main goal try to get all the achievements in minecraft because until further notice my let's play world is suspended i can't play so i guess this will be sort of um a little mini well it's not going to be a mini series it's going to be fairly ex extensive but what i'm going to be doing is trying to go exclusively for the achievements in the game and uh, and try to get as many as I can in I guess as short as amount of time as possible. I want to do something reasonable, maybe I don't know, 15, 20 episodes. We'll have to see. So uh, let's hop right in. I'm gonna generate the world, and I'll be right back. And we're back, and we have our world generated here. So, um, admittedly, I have pressed I before, and therefore my inventory, the first achievement, the original achievement, which is taking inventory which is pressing I to open your inventory I've done that I, I'm sorry I've cheated the system I've already done an achievement which is obviously just opening up your inventory but the first achievement on our list here is getting wood attack a tree until a block of wood pops out then we have getting wood which is benchmarking so let's see what happens once we get ourselves some wood here oh oh there's the wood there's the wood. Are you, are you guys ready? Oh yeah. Who's got wood? I got wood. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I'm also playing on hard mode because apparently there's been some changes with zombies and skeletons. They apparently attack differently or are armored differently or something. That's what the weekly snapshot said. And I'm going to put the, what, we, what the weekly snapshot says is correct. I don't know what it is specifically, but apparently they are more dangerous. Dun dun dun. Alright, so we're going to grab ourselves a decent amount of wood so we can get started. And I've been fiddling around with some Minecraft settings. Um, apparently OpenGL off. Um, that actually helps me. Uh... Usually when I have it on, I, I, I sorry, I usually always have it on and people always recommend it to keep it on, but apparently I don't need it because it is actually be more beneficial when it's off. So let's check out what is the next achievement here. I think it was to make a crafting bench, correct? So let's go ahead and do that and get our four oak planks and benchmarking. Awesome. Achievement, achievement get. That's what I was trying to say. Alright, so now we have three branches here on our achievement board. We have time to farm, use plank and sticks, so make a hoe. So we gotta make our wooden tools. We gotta make a hoe, wooden sword, and a wooden pickaxe. So let's go ahead and do that here. I think that should be enough. Alright, here we go. There is the hoe. Achievement get, time to farm. And we're gonna make ourselves a pickaxe. Achievement get, time to mine. And we're going to make ourselves a sword here. And achievement get, time to strike. Alright, so all the wooden achievements have been completed. Now we get to branch off into three separate areas. The easiest would probably... Um, hmm, probably would be the stone one and then a furnace one. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see if we can find ourselves some stone around here. Anything exposed. There it is. And there's also a giant hole. <laughs> a 
Let's try not to fall into one of those. That could be bad. Just make sure we're not going to find any mean bad guys here. I saw also that one of the achievements was to... Was to... Kill some mobs. Kill an enemy mob, so... Or... That was one of the achievements, that's what I meant to say. What I meant to say was one of the achievements I saw was to get a furnace, to make a furnace, so... What is that? What's a pig? God, you piggies, why you scare me like that? Come here, come, 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 no, no, come, come, uh, uh. Oh, leg. Leg. Where'd you go? Did you fall in here? You did fall in here. Piggy, don't try to hide from me. Yeah, what you know about that? I got myself some pork chops. Oh yeah, pork chops for the win. Let's go back to the workbench here. And let's make ourselves a stone pickaxe. Ready, ready, ready for it? Do, 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 do. Getting an upgrade. And that was a tribute to X, because... He's also doing an achievement list kind of thing. Achievement get hot topic. Sweet. Now we got ourselves a furnace. Oh, an apple. <laughs> this should be an achievement. Get an apple. The achievement would be, is it Sir Isaac Newton who had the apple fall on his head? I think it is. And if it's not, it's because I'm dumb and I don't remember. I don't remember basic history. <laughs> um, sound. You were... Way too loud. Way, 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 way too loud. I'll have to fix that. That's much better. Well, I can put up a little bit. Mm, no, I'll leave it there. Ooh, sweet, some reeds. We can definitely grab some of those. Because we need it for enchanting. It's actually a pretty nice world we've generated here. And what the heck is that? That is a cool looking tree. We need to go explore that tree. Or at least explore that area. Let's go grab our all our stuff here in Vominos because that looks really awesome. I definitely want to check that out. And I'm just going to use this wood pick up because it's pretty useless right now. Alright. Let's head on over there and on the way we can go slaughter these piggies. Piggies, are you ready to die? Die. Yeah. What you know about that? Huh, piggy? Yeah. The piggies didn't even know it was coming. Actually, I want to see if there's any coal nearby as well. Remind me, I need to get some coal. Why aren't you guys reminding me? I need to get coal. Oh, this stone sword is so almost useless. Almost completely useless. And, uh, alright. Nothing in there. Nothing at all in there. Okay, let's go visit that tree up top over over yonder. I will also try not to be using a try not to be using. I will also try not to use a bed. Well, wow, that's a cool looking tree. Um, I don't know. It kind of takes away the the difficulty of Minecraft because if you you know live over there, whoops, if you live far far away and you die, oh that's interesting. Um, to finish my point, is that if you put a bed there, you're just going to spawn over there. But that's the original spawn. That's how I remember Minecraft. I remember, I remember Minecraft when you had to walk all the way back. So, I, I, I knew there was, you know, the sideways logs, the whole fact that you can place logs upright and sideways now. However, I didn't know that they can generate sideways. That's interesting. It kind of actually makes it look like a, a genuine branch. It's kind of cool. I like that. And for my efforts, I'll take a log myself. A log plank. I need to make myself some decent tools. So we need to get back down there. Oh, maybe over there. And get some more stone. Let's check out what achievements we have left to do. So, in the farming side of things, we can make some bread. We can... The lie. We have to make the lie, which is a cake. However, you need buckets. Buckets of milk. So... I will, um, 
I will have to do that a little bit later. Time to strike. We've got that. Now we need to go harvest some leather and attack and destroy a monster. That'll be at night. And ooh, we have to uh, have a sniper duel with the skeleton as well. Let's go up here. And I also need to... When pigs fly. I actually don't know what that achievement is, but that should be interesting. Here it is. Smelt an iron ingot and catch and cook fish. That's cool. We have to definitely do that soon. Once we get some string going on. Oh, here's a nice little nice little cave here. Do we have any exposed coal? Oh, we do. Perfect. Oh yeah, I forgot about the experience. There you go. Two for one there. Got some experience, got some coal. Perfect, all right. Let us go ahead and grab some more of this lovely and abundant stone so that we can make some tools with a bit better durability than wood because as, as easily accessible as wood tools are, they are very, very uh, delicate, fragile, and not very efficient in the slightest, so. It would be much more beneficial to grab some stone. Oh, and look at that. We've exposed some coal here that was hiding from my eyes. Why were you hiding? Why didn't you want to be mined? Don't you want to be with all your coal brethren? Let's see if there's any more of this stuff over here. Come on, lighting, update. There you go. That's what I do to update lighting. I just punch the ground and the lighting gods above notice. They take note. Oh, mushrooms. Um, skeletons. I heard skeletons. I didn't see him. I heard him. You must be weary. Or wary. What's that expression? I don't even know. Oh, iron over there. Okay. Oh, oh, there's some stuff down there. That's not good. We're going to have to go there maybe a little bit later. Once we're a bit more established because I don't want to die. I don't want to die the first night, the first day in Minecraft. It's looking like a cool uh, cool landscape over there. Let's go check that out. After we get this wood, and we also need to cook that pork chop. Those pork chops over there because we are running low on health. And as delicious as raw pork chops are, which they aren't, I would rather, much rather, eat them cooked. And we're going to take this lily pad just because we can. Some more reeds over there. Should be okay for reeds. Oh, is that? Oh, that is some. Oh, yeah, perfect. This is a little bit more easily accessible iron you can pick up here. I'll make some tools or some armor or something out of it. Hoping a creeper doesn't show up here. All right, let's, let's uh, escape a bit here. Let's make our. Let's not overstay our welcome. That's the last thing we need. Okay. Some more cool looking trees. Some sheep. That's cool. That's cool. Hello sheep. How are you? Hope you're having an awesome day. I am having an awesome day. Having an awesome time spending with you guys. I hope you're enjoying as well. Nice landscape. Let's see if we can grab ourselves a screenshot. Maybe in the night when it turns a little bit darker. Get a nice view of the landscape. Some more red mushrooms. They're a little bit rarer than brown mushrooms in my opinion. So I like to pick them up whenever I see them. Or whenever they're in my way I guess. <laughs> um, okay so. I got a black sheep and a gray sheep in the midst of some white sheep. Got lots and lots of sheep around here. Shame, I would much rather have some cows. Cows are a little bit more... Um, I need them a little bit more. Just because of the achievement. Not only that, but... Their food. These sheep offer me wool, which I refuse to use. Refuse. Now, this is kind of cool. It's kind of hidden under a tree. We can make a little house here. Alright, let's go ahead and do that burrow down here. There might be oh, some exposed iron as well. There might be some bad guys down here, so we need to light this place up a bit. Let's go ahead and put a torch there. Head on down into the cave. 
what will we find? I don't know, but it's pretty open. So, I'm going to grab this, the rest of this coal. Coal, all right, this is coal. Clearly, this is coal. This is the black spotted stone in which it looks like coal. No, I'm sorry, that meant to say iron. This is iron. And quite a nice little pocket of it, too. What was that, eight pieces, seven pieces? Nice, nice, all right. Let's go ahead and bunker down in here. I'm going to use up this wooden pickaxe over here. And we will also use it as fuel, because you can do that in Minecraft 1.3, which is pretty cool, using up your wooden tools. That's pretty much what I'm going to use them for anyways. The, the wooden hoe I'm going to keep just because, um, unlike other tools, the, the, the hoes don't exactly have durability, or, or sorry, uh, efficiency, in the sense that no matter what level of efficiency or what, what resource um, they are, the hoe, it still functions the exact same way. Because whether it's diamond or wood, there is no difference. It, it still harvests, or I guess tills the soil the same speed and, and it just lasts longer. Right, depending on what resource you use. How, so, you can keep a wooden hoe. A wooden hoe is not bad to keep. It might look ugly in your inventory, but it still is fine. So, we got ourselves a beautiful mansion over here. Clearly the best Minecraft home I've ever made in my life. And we're going to go ahead and plop these guys down. In the corner here. And first things first, let's get these, these things cooking. We can make ourselves a mushroom soup if we want, but I think we'll reserve these mushrooms for a little bit later. Got some seeds to start a farm, which we can do, but we need water so these these can be uh, hydrated once we till them. All right, we got ourselves a cooked pork chop. We're gonna numb this pretty quickly here. Not place a torch. Um, num 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 num. Delicious. That was fantastic. Oh yeah, we also get a little bit of experience from removing the. Removing the food. Listen, listen. Oh, sometimes you get, sometimes you don't. I'll let that cook up and then you'll see what I mean. Sometimes you'll get a little bit of experience from removing items from the furnace. And uh, didn't get it at that time either. Maybe it's a certain amount. I'm not sh too sure. Oh, I should have used my wooden pick. No, I forgot. Darn. All right, well, I'll leave it there. If we get something else to cook, we can use that. Yeah, we also have 13 iron ore. You know what? Going to go ahead and make myself here another furnace. Put it there. And let's cook up our wooden sword and our wooden pick. Now it's not going to do too much, but a little bit is better than nothing, right? And we also might need to cook up. I'll use my last coal there. Might need to cook up some charcoal since we don't have much in the way of burning fuel or fuel sources uh, we should make ourselves a sword just in case there we go what else do we have on our hands here I think we're okay Let's go do a little bit of exploring oh there's a zombie what the heck what the heck the zombies they look different there's been a graphical update to the zombies? They look like Squidwards! They're, they're... What? What the heck? That is the weirdest thing. That is the weirdest achievement we're going to get this entire series. Well, Monster Hunter. We got that achievement. Pretty much just attack and kill a monster. I did not know they updated the look of zombies, but... They look pretty darn derpy now. <laughs> Derpy, derpy zombies are derpy. All right, let's go ahead and put, um, we'll do this, whoops. Don't want to put, oh, you can put saplings in, but I want to keep those saplings just in case. Uh, let's do something like that, okay. Let's put one more in there. All right, perfect, that has smelted. Oh yeah, I forgot that you can get an achievement for smelting the iron, so. We did two, two achievements there. Um, achievement was Monster Hunter. 
And kill a skeleton with an arrow from more than 50 meters away. Okay. That should be easy enough once we acquire a bow and some arrows. Uh, we need to still get some cows to kill. I'm doing quite a bit this one episode. But these, these are the easy achievements. These next few, this whole section over here, much, much harder. Uh, it takes a little bit more time. As well as uh, getting this... I'm afraid that this saddle means I'll need to find a, a saddle, which can be a little tricky. But we'll worry about that when the time arises. Right now, after um, smelting this iron, our next two achievement branches are on a rail, which is travel by minecart at least one kilometer from where you started. Wow, that's going to actually take quite a while. So we might want to keep building resources. Hopefully we'll find an abandoned mine shaft so that we can... Um, darn, that's, that's pretty far. We need at least a thousand rails. Hmm, okay, okay, that's going to be a fun one to do. We have to keep uh, inventory of all of iron, because we're going to need lots and lots of iron, apparently. Diamonds! Acquire diamonds with your iron tools, alright? That's pretty easy. It's just a matter of finding the diamonds. Guys, I'm not going to lie, I'm still baffled with that ugly zombie. I'm scared, guys, I'm scared. It was like a villager breeded with a zombie. Alright, well at least the spiders are normal. Normal enough. All right, let's get a screenshot here. Oh yeah, into the dark. That's pretty cool, pretty cool. Right, let's see, I heard a skeleton over here. Is there anything gonna pop up and attack me? That's a, ooh, it's quite a ways down there. We got some sunlight, or at least some natural moonlight filtering through, which is nice, which is nice. Skeleton. You will be my arch nemesis in this sniper duel achievement, but for now you can rest rest assured I won't kill you yet. Um, got the rest of that iron. So we got 13 iron. I think the first thing I want to do is make myself an armor chest place. Well, hmm. We have 13 pants, 7, 11. Hmm. I think we might be slightly better off doing this just so that we have um, enough to make an iron sword as well since iron sword is a little bit better than the stone sword I think I'm going to be doing that instead because I'm st instead of spending all the iron on a single chest plate and maybe a helmet or boots I can spend it a little bit you know I get a little bit less armor however I get an iron sword in exchange for that so a little bit more offense for a little bit more defense or a little bit less defense I should say we got ourselves nine charcoal. So, we're not doing too badly this first night. I mean, resources are a little scarce. We haven't got exactly all the best stuff right now. But it's a good start. It's definitely a good start. Nothing to complain about. Um, need to go ahead and make a shovel. As well as an axe. So that we can go and axe some trees down. We can go cut them trees all the way down. Got some zombie flesh there. Not going to be using that too much. And I don't. I'm a little, little low on wood, so I'm going to conserve that as much as possible. The sun is rising here. Let's see what kind of baddies we got going on. Oh, 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 oh! All right. First creeper encounter. Go away. Two on one. Can he do it? And yeah, two on one, no chance. Look, look at him. Look how ugly he is. Look at him. Uh oh, <laughs> I meant to shoot. Urgh, there we go. I meant to uh, take a screenshot. Hopefully that screenshot turned out well and didn't turn out <laughs> at the main menu. Oh, there's a skeleton here. Skeleton duel. Yeah, oh man. Got me at the last second. But my crit hacks were too good for him. Took a little bit of damage. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Alright, so. Morning arises. The first morning. Or, well. After the first night. The first morning. And it's, we seem to be doing alright. Another. another. Ooh. Here's the cows. Another achievement I want to add to this list is to uh, find emeralds. That's just a personal achievement because I haven't found emeralds yet. Um, and I know they're pretty exclusive in the in regards to 
you know how rare they are so hopefully I'll be able to do that uh, let's go ahead and kill some cows and get our achievement cow tipper awesome so let's go see what this achievement for when pigs can fly so harvest some leather here we go fly a pig off a cliff <laughs> how would I go about flying a pig off a cliff like TNT or like does he have to drop off a cliff well, that's going to be, hmm, that's going to be interesting. I think I have a creative way how uh, I'll be able to do that one, but definitely need to, that would be more of a later game kind of thing. So a few achievements, pretty easy to do right away. Other ones will have to take a little bit of time and, and, and care and make sure we do the right things to get all the right stuff to get the achievements. <laughs> so let's go ahead and harvest some more of this wood. Okay. There's a huge difference between using your hand and a uh, and a stone axe or any axe for that matter. Oh, you're still. Oh, I thought you were still hostile. I was gonna say, what did I do to you? Hello, Mr. Spider. How are you today? I'm doing fairly well. Uh, do you have a, a web or a nest constructed yet? No. Are you just preying on these sheep? You're just gonna kill them at night or something? Harvest them? Feed them to your young? Oh, well, that's cool. Um. Hey, look behind you. Insecticide. Okay, well, he tried to defend himself, but he, he was no match for my iron sword. No match. All right. We. Let's, uh, should we go down? I'm not sure. No, I think we should. Maybe, whoa. Oh, I was like, Enderman, how did he get in here? No, I just realized I forgot to. We have to take that single block out. That must have been driving all the OCD and AD, ADD. No, OCD people. Crazy. Why does he leave that one block there? What's wrong with him? Oh, creeper. Our arch nemesis. Since we are on hard, they do a lot more damage. So these guys definitely need to be taken care of properly. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh, you thought you were going to explode. Uh, you are funny. Funny, sir. Let's go ahead and make some torches here because I see some coal that we can grab, so I'm not too worried. All right. <clears throat> Skeleton, do your worst. Oh, I see you. Can you shoot me? Apparently not. Ah, oh, damn it. There it goes. He got me. He got me. Ooh, this is a very, very nice looking cave. That, does that go all the way? Oh, that goes to lava. That's pretty cool. That's a nice... That'd be a nice, easy, instant access way to die. One-way trip all the way down. All right, I see some more coal up there. But there's lots of coal over here that we should um, harvest first. Let's go ahead and do that. And we also get some awesome experience. Good, good, good. These little pockets of coal are nice when you find them early game because later game you know usually when you're more established coal is one of those resources where you need it but you don't need an overabundance of it because you don't really smelt a lot or you know if you are it's because you're building a project or something but early game it's like everything needs coal you want to you know smelt your iron that you just found you need coal or you need wood but you know coal is a lot more efficient i'm all about efficiency in minecraft truthfully um and it's weird to say because i'm one of those people who don't oh whoa whoa whoa, whoa. hold on hold that thought I'm one of those people who aren't crazy about efficiency when it comes to like mob mob spawners stuff like that i i'm sort of just uh, more utility in that sense like if as long as it works it's fine um but when it comes to like making stuff in the sense that like you're gonna you know cook 64 pieces of pork chop i rather people like I, i'm personally very very efficient i i think about how much each fuel source i'm gonna use uses its durability or, or i guess in this case um how much time it takes stuff like that you know little little minor stuff but that's that's the kind of efficiency uh, outlook i have um 
but generally speaking, oh, there's a mob spawner. Whoa, that's an awesome find. I think if I could see it properly from here, it is a zombie one. That's a cool find. Maybe we'll get that pigs can fly fairly early. Here, let's go ahead and do this. Maybe expose this to a bit of sunlight so that it'll be a natural way to stop the spawning. I think it was about here, wasn't it? Yep, perfect. That's a nice little find. We can make ourselves a grinder if we want to, or a, yeah, a grinder. Oh, in one of my uh, previous episodes of the noob server, I had found a, a zombie spawner, and people said they wanted to do a see a grinder tutorial, you know, how to make a simple grinder. And my point was tying in perfectly with this is, I'm all about practicality as well. Uh, I know I just said you know it's efficiency, but practicality too. I'm not going to be making these huge, huge, expensive, intricate traps, you know, just to get some experience. I'd rather just do the, the gritty, dirty way, get the job done, and whatever works kind of thing. So, let's see if we can find a safe way down there. We have to remember our home is in the swamp over there. Okay, perfect. Right down here. Now, to prevent spawning at night, I'm going to... Go ahead and light this up. Hopefully that prevents most of it. Yes, perfect. We do have a saddle here. That is awesome. We also got ourselves some cocoa beans and a couple buckets. Look at that. We are... Wow, four buckets and they all stack, right? Yeah. That's a nice little find. It's a great first day, isn't it? Don't you wish all your Minecraft experiences could start like this? Well, if you want the seed, the seed is... Not here. <laughs> I forgot that they removed the ability to see your own seed. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll post the seed in the description if people want it that badly. But um, let's go ahead on back to the home. I think the the night is slowly approaching. It is approximately early evening, late afternoon in the Minecraft world. So let us go ahead, head on back here to our home. We also need to eat. We need to eat our delicious food. I think our home was... Somewhere over here. Oh yeah, right there. We should mark this. Bam. And bam. Serves two purposes. One, lights up the area, kind of prevents mobs from spawning here. And two, helps us see where we uh, where we have made our home under this lovely tree. Actually, I, sh I should put a torch on top of this tree to signify that it is my home. And... Let's go ahead and do this here. Maybe we'll get lucky er, because this is a pretty lucky day so far in regards to Minecraft stuff. Do I have space? I don't have any space. Let me plop these suckers down over here. And go ahead and make some sticks and then make some fences. Only need two for now. Whoops. There we go. And there we go. And I also need a torch. Let's see if we get lucky with these eggs. Let's put this down first. One, two. Ah, no luck. Well, we'll have to make this into a little chicken pen here. Or chicken coop, I should say. Yeah, so we can get some eggs. I know we already had enough eggs to make the cake for the achievement, the lie. However, I want to make a nice little chicken farm there too. That'd be nice. So I'm going to do some inventory management, but I'm going to conclude this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Leave any comments or suggestions in the co no comments below <laughs> below the video. And if you enjoyed it, I hope that you would click the like button and the thumbs up button. It helps support this channel and helps get videos like mine noticed and uh, provide some good feedback as well. So thanks for watching and have a great day.